What is up everybody? My name is Jack Billings and I am the CEO and founder of Shed Knives. Today I have with me the 2022 Spearpoint. Now, first off, before I get into it, this is actually one of the very first Kydex sheaths I did. So it doesn't quite have that really nice click, but still clicks. So figured I'd show this in the video, all the new sheaths. So really anything uh, that has been sold, since this was just a prototype, the sheath comes to about right here. So it clicks really nice, but still has a nice sound. So anyways, let's get into some key features of the 2022 Spearpoint. First off, the sheath. Very noticeable here. We have a rectangle sheath here, and most of the time it's curved to the blade. But why did I decide to have it this way? Why? Well, short answer is simple, easy to use. That's that's really it. It's simple because it's square. You don't need to worry about, oh, well, it's sitting at an angle on my belt because the clip is down here curved to the blade. So now my knife is weird. Nope, just sits straight. So it's straight up. Scout carry, it's straight to the side like this, however you want to carry it. So super nice feature there. So really nice. Also, another thing you can do with this, let's say, you have your map, you're drawing lines, you're drawing angles, stuff like that on your map. You can use the side of this because it is straight. You can use this to draw lines on your map. Very important feature that you can't really do with most other sheaths. So pretty cool there. So getting into the blade, it has a unique blade here. It's round up here and down in this bit it's very very sharp so to show you how sharp this thing is um since i already brought this thing through the sand and was messing with it and dulled the blade up just a little bit i'm gonna do it again just to show you how tough this thing is how sharp it is and then we're gonna do a little bit of testing here wash it off in the river. Awesome, so we have our knife. Tried to dull it. You can see a little bit up there. Eh, that's okay, cause we're gonna torture test this thing. Let's take up our sheath right there. We'll take this here. Let's get into it. Just like that, just like that. My goodness, super simple. Do we need to get in a little bit of carving? Yes, that bark, it's wet so it's easy to take off. But let's get into the actual wood. Wow, even after through the sand, through the gravel, we're still carving. Can you believe that? Can your knife do this, by the way? Can your knife? I'm not sure. I don't know if it can. Let's let's split some wood. Super simple, super easy. Wow. Going in, got stuck in a knot there. Couldn't make a spear or something. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Even after dragging it through the rocks, through the pebbles, through the sand, still sharp, still cuts through. I mean, it even looks dull, but guess what? It's still works it's still functional it's plenty of you have asked oh well your knives aren't sharp 
Oh, I don't think they can cut. Really? How about now? Because they work. They work. They work. Now, let's take a sharp knife here, which I just happen to have in the river, and let's get into it as well. So we can see a little difference there. And stuck on knots on this piece. So we're going to move to the next one. Just kind of debark that real quick. And let's really get in there. And once again, this knife has been tested pretty, pretty tough. So this isn't even right out of the box, brand new. Still crazy sharp. Mm. Wow, just, I'm, I'm impressed, really. So let's pull the spear point back out because that's what we're here for. We are here for the spear point. Let's kind of get back to it here. So the spear point, some other features. Let's see, let's wash my hands off. There we go. <laughs> so some other features after kind of going through this knife or going through the sand and stuff with this knife. Let's get into some features of it. So security, it's very important. That's why we have locks on our doors. That's why we have safes. That's why we have keys. Security, very important. Okay, well, this 3 16th hole in the knife, same thing back here, then we have our half inch, 3 16th, 3 16th. These two holes, that's security. Why is it security? So when I go to push this 550 cord, see, am I getting anywhere with it? No. Can't even move it. It's locked in there. It's also why 550 cord is really nice because it helps out with locking over time. I use it up here a lot, so it's gonna lock in. I use it down here, it's just gonna lock in. The knife is currently wet. That is going to help the rope lock in together and just lock in. I don't, I don't know <laughs> what to say uh, other than that. It's just going to be very secure. That hole helps. Same thing back here, helps keep it from sliding, where if it wasn't there, it'd be sliding all over the place. So very helpful there. Uh, we also have our forge mark right there that proves this knife made it through a heat treat of over 1200 degrees through the forge. And we have our beautiful spear point that, as you can see, has been used quite a bit. So grabbing the sheath, putting it back here, just gonna pop that in there, very nice. I like this quite a bit. It's a nice functional tool, really, it is. Same thing with the sheep's foot that we have. It's it's a functional tool, you can use it. I mean, I guess a tool isn't a tool if it's not functional, but you know what I'm saying. So very functional here as well. You can do a ton of stuff with it. Really like the spear point as well. You can pick both of these knives up on shedknives.com. They do, they, they are going out of stock or uh, being discontinued really the first Friday of January so might be too late depending on when you see this video but you can get them all you can or go to our dealers because our dealers probably will have them so just go to shedknives.com you can find the dealer list and go from there so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video